And first on to the pitch here in Musgrave Park. Christians come on and they get quite a, an interesting reception from the Rockwell supporters. And it'll be Rockwell coming on second, led by their captain, Paddy Bud Butler, the number eight. Brian Hayes, the captain of CBC. So it's the CBC team lining up for their photograph. And a huge crowd of supporters from both schools. This is the Rockwell team led by their captain, the experienced Brian Hayes at number four. Already Brian has interprovincial experience at under 20 level. And in contrast to the enthusiastic cheering of their supporters, they come on to the pitch. And we go down to Connor Hayes, Connor Morris. On. We have JJ Hanrahan launches a big one. This time, Robert Clune makes no mistake. Come on, Ken Ray, come on, keep on. His opposite number takes and knocks it on. Referee waits. The whole advantage to. CBC, it's Robert Clune. Takes it on right, sorry, into the right. 22 and back it comes. Dunn flips it on. Good work this by Christians, almost up to the Rockwell well, line. They have men over and they're in. <laughs> Beautiful try. Well taken. O'Donnell, their hooker, with the throw. And it's taken away beautifully by Christians. They really were almost in for another score. A Christians player. Hearn wants it. This is Hanrahan. High tackle and the penalty on the 10 metre line or thereabouts. Tension is on. Paul McAvoy, and this time he makes no mistake. Did very well, Brian Hayes, captaining CBC. No hands, no hands. Slater has to give ground. No hands, right? And a penalty against Christians, an opportunity for Rockwell. Maybe to take the lead. Paul McAvoy's kick is good. The Christians half. And this kick could cause problems for Rockwell as Christians come on to it very well indeed. They want it back and quickly. Slater to Dunn. Slater again, the pass not too good. Big chance here for the right winger. Ball is available for Slater. Moved wide. This is good work by Christians. And there are a chance here for the left wing. He's in. Graham Mackesy gets over in the corner. Spectacular and fine catch. Slater not getting the distance on it. Penalty against Christians for not retreating from the. And this to level the scores as we approach half time.
He's hit it beautifully. And the halftime whistle sounds. It couldn't be more delicately balanced. Four penalty goals by Christians for put in. Taken away by the number eight, Will Ryan. Now it's available for Dara Dunn. Thought about the inside break, but uh, leaves it to one of the forwards to carry it on. On the Rockwell 22, or the 10-metre line, could break this for Christians into the 22, they go. Danger here, what a try. Second try for Roman Barry. And that's the lead for Christians. Steady, let's go. Five metres. Comes out, taken on. Good break close to the scrum. This could be tried for. It's in. What a great effort. Bridge. Brian Slater's feed. The number eight takes it away. Tries to go on his own. Nearly got there. Now it comes to Dara Dunn. Feeds it out. Ball goes forward. Whistle goes. And yet another try. And... It looked as if a Munster Senior Cup competition. Go high, go high. And it looks like Christians, who won the inaugural cup Stay in 1909, in are going to win the centenary competition in 2009. <laughs> Number five gets the try, Shane Buckley. And that's some consolation. But now Christians playing no out hands. time, happy to pick and drive. No hands, no phone. Stay with me. And away come Rockwell, but not for long as the ball is kicked out of play. The referee blows the final whistle. And what a day it's been for CBC, Munster, or Blackrock, Munster, Cup winners, CBC Cork really doing a tremendous job in the second half, scoring four tries in, or, or five tries in all, two in the first half by Ronan Barry and Joe Holland. Ronan Barry got another in the second half, followed by a super break by Robert Clune, and then Dara Dunn rounded it off with their fifth try. The final score then at Musgrave Park in the Avonmore Munster Schools Senior Cup Final, CBC 33, Rockwell College 19. And the CBC captain, Brian Hayes, receives the Centenary Cup and all of CBC cheer him to the echo. It's their 28th win in the competition, a memorable day for all of CBC, the Munster School Senior Cup winners once again.